Too many thoughts on my mind, I can't sleep at night, so I just keep writing. I don't need no help, I don't need opinions, so don't wait for What's going on guys, you know, it's your boy Burgers Kicks here again today. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys a little tutorial slash guide on how to fix the supreme like payment errors especially when you're running a bot like you get payment declines and payment errors payment marked as fraud um it usually means one of two things either your address is banned or your card could possibly be banned um and so i'm going to show you some things that i have personally done to fix this issue because i had this issue started last year or last season with the covid box logos i got banned on that drop and since then i haven't been able to like check out with couple of my cards and my like non-jigged address does not work usually unless like they changed it but i mean when i run profiles like that i still get declined um this involves all manualing stuff right now to like test i mean you could test in the bot but i test manually because it allows you to actually see what's wrong so first obviously you know we're on supreme here i already added an item to my cart i added the uh the name tags or whatever i just added one of them um because if for some reason my info does work and i get these you know i'm not gonna be mad because i'll just keep them because that's just how i am but it shouldn't work with this card and info combination i have because i'm literally 99 percent sure it's banned so um yeah i'm gonna go check out now i'm just gonna autofill all my information here obviously you know we'll block it off my screen cap or one if this goes through I'm gonna be super sad okay perfect as you can see here see how it says unfortunately we're able, unable to process your order this could be due to your payment being declined or by your card issuer um, this is using a card that I know is banned and using my regular non jigged address at all um so what you can do if you get this and you try manualing, there's the two things you need to do. First, I usually test and see if it's my address. Um, so what you do is, you know, you just go back to like the home, shop again. Just, I'm just going to go to accessories here. Oh, I don't think I, oh, I did click it. I'm just going to add these back to my card again. I'm going to go check out. I'm going to use that same exact credit card. But I'm going to make... A fake, fake whatever. I can't even type my own name incorrectly. Um, here we'll just we'll throw a catch-all in here. I'm just going through and jigging my address really hard. Obviously, you guys can't see this at all, but. And then I'm going to use the same exact card. And then once this goes through, I'll show you guys. And bingo. We got that again. Fortunately, we're unable to process your information. Normally, this will mean that your card info information has been banned. Um, like your card just won't work. Because normally when you jig your address, that gets around the whole, like if your address is banned. So what you can do to test if it's your card and not your address, use that same jigged address that you have, that you just put in. Go back to shop again. If it loads, accessories, bam check out use the same exact jig address so you know just type it all in again capital one get off my screen And then what you're going to do this time is you're going to take a different credit card. For example, you can take whatever. I'm not going to, if you, all right, 
if you're doing this with an American Express card and you're trying to test if it's banned, when you put in a fake CVV, sometimes American Express will allow that purchase to go through. I don't know why, but it does. Um, so if you're testing your American Express cards, just be sure, or I guess expect maybe if the card's not banned, that it might actually go through with the fake CVV. I just wanted to warn you guys of that. Um, so here, I'm going to use my Apple card. And I'm just going to type in a fake CVV. I'm just going to put literally 222, which is nowhere near my CVV. I'm going to hit process payment. It's going to sit here and load. It sits here, load, sit here, load. It will sit here and load. It will just tell you to please wait. And it's like what it's doing normally when you... Okay, so I'm going to clear some things up. I messed up when I was recording here. Basically, so as you can see, I put my jigged info with a brand new card in. And I went to like the long please wait processing payment thing. And then I got this screen. Um, what that means, that means the card and the information are both fine. It's just because you used like a fake CVV. So that's why it processed the payment and then declines you. So that means if you get that screen, that means that both your card and your jigged information are fine or, you know, your normal information. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to uh, get a bot profile to show you guys and show you. All right, I'm back. I got the profile. Um, also, another thing to show that it's just a card decline is if you were to, like, normally when you get the fraud payment, it removes the item out of your cart, as you can see here. The item is still in my cart. I haven't went back and re-added it. Um, it's still in your cart. You just go to checkout now. And it will allow you to just put in new information. It won't remove the product from your cart. So I'm just going to use this profile that I know 100% like the jig works. Oh, whoops. Put that in the wrong thing. Type in a fake phone number. Okay, and this was on a, uh, this was on a, um, uh, VCC card, a Capital One Eno, but I'm just going to use my regular card. Then another one that I know that works. Process payment, just going to sit here, please wait. Tell me to keep waiting. And it doesn't go instantly, because when, when it goes instantly, that means that something's banned. And then, I don't know if you could see how it said processing on there. And then it went to, unfortunately, when I able to process your payment. When you are using either banned information or a banned card, it won't go to the processing at all. It used to pop up invalid CVV, but it doesn't seem like it's popping up with that right now. Um, I don't really want to try a, a card. I could try a Capital One card if I wanted to test it out and see if it pops up invalid CVV. Um, but yeah, it will go to that and see how it says, like, if you'd like to re-enter your card, it does go back here. It lets you go right back and the item's still in your cart. When it does the other one before with the banned information or banned card, you don't get that option. It just automatically declines you, removes everything out of your cart. So that's a great way to tell if your card is banned. I'm going to see if I can get it to pop up with the whole invalid CVV, just because I wanted to show you guys that. Okay. Unfortunately, when I'm able to process your payment, this could be due to your payment being declined. So they must have changed the whole thing where it pops up invalid CVV. You just get this screen now. But you get the option to go back and re-enter your info. I'm going to show you here when I use my normal info in the card that I know is banned, what it says. Just in case you know you forgot from earlier. Okay, I'm going to click process payment. Instantly. Oh, it does say you can go back. Huh. Huh. 
Oh, see? See? All right, right there. Okay, it says go back, but when you click go back, it you, everything's emptied out of your cart. Okay, so they changed they changed how they like did their whole site. I haven't tested this in a couple months because I haven't needed to. Um, but obviously they changed that. They removed the whole invalid CVV. It just declines your cart. You'll get the same screen, but if you can hit the go back button and it brings you right back to the information screen, that means that your address and your cart are both fine. Obviously, you know, if you type in a real CVV that you would be able to check out. Um, if you do it with an address and a card and you get the pr can't process payment and you click go back to re-enter your information and it take it removes everything from your cart and your um, like everything from your cart and you can't it doesn't bring you back to the information screen. That means that either A, your card is banned or B, your information is banned. And then obviously, like I said, to test if it's your information you jig all your information and use the same card if you get the error again then it's your card info and then to confirm that you can use that same exact jig address on a different card like a brand new v vcc and if you also get the whole decline payment card thing um that means that your inf or the that that card was or if you don't get the my bad oh, my bad i, I tri trip you guys up if you don't get the problem where it removes it out of your cart and you're allowed to just go back with with your info um that means that the card is banned and if you have it where it keeps giving you the same errors uh it could possibly mean that your whole address is clipped which i don't think supreme does at all um because jigging gets around that like if you're using the jigged address it easily gets around that so basically it's a test if your card's banned and your address it's a way to figure out both so if you need to jig your address is really hard or make completely new cards um i hope this guy's help i hope this helps you guys um because it helped me a lot i know some people have problems with it i know i didn't get really like super like step by step um but if you guys have questions you know you can drop them in the comments hit me up on discord hit me up on twitter and i'll do my best to help you um if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, boys. Appreciate you guys. And, uh, yeah, hope this helps you. Hope you guys can cop on Supreme. Burger out, boys.